여기에서 잉글리시 뉴스가 방송됩니다. 我们的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第一届的第
uh, and the green uh, hydrogen industry session, especially regarding the April 3rd session. Uh, this year, for the first time, uh, three American uh, experts are joining, and they are going to share their perspective on April 3rd. And then I think the new, another new feature of the, this forum uh, is about the uh, ASEAN session, which is organized in collaboration with the Korean National Assembly. I think this is also related to Jeju government ASEAN Alpha Plus initiative, which sees uh, ASEAN countries as uh, important partners for exchange of people and tourism and trade and investment for Jeju. Mm, all of those are very wonderful and yeah. very important topics yes. indeed. So in particular, the forum is receiving attention as it takes place during a period of heightened international relations. In addition, there have been various policy initiatives and changes during the eighth administration of the local government. So um, could you tell us some of the expected effects of the Jeju Forum this year? I agree that the uh, international political environment is very challenging, as indicated in the uh, theme of the, this year's forum. The for sustainable peace and prosperity, I think the uh, United States and China uh, need to compete uh, based on international rules, and they should com cooperate for addressing global issues such as climate change and global health, and food and energy crisis, and also uh, nuclear land proliferation. So I expect that the uh, Jeju Forum uh, will reinforce uh, the importance of the United States and China's cooperation for global agenda. So I believe Jeju Forum will uh, provide Jeju residents uh, with good opportunity mm -hmm. uh, to uh, better understand the new policy direction of the uh, Jeju government, uh, sustainable development, sustainable peace and prosperity, on the, these uh, you know, international uh, uh, challenges and Jeju's new initiative of the new government. I think this is a good opportunity for Jeju residents and all the audiences. Wonderful, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time to be with us here today and it was a pleasure to have you in the studio. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for having me. Today we had the pleasure of being joined by Ko Yunju, Ambassador of International Relations at the Jeju Special Self-Governing Province with information on the upcoming Jeju Forum, which launches May 31st. Thank you for watching KCTV English News. Have a great evening.